Hello, you are welcome to our much-awaited first AIMS Media webinar themed Digital switch over. The proceedings should start anytime from now. Let me hand you over to the moderator. A participant advocated that there should be private sector participation on the full implementation of digital switch over at the recently held webinar, which saw the convergence of major stakeholders in the Nigerian broadcast industry and foreign speakers. As part of our corporate social responsibility activities, Ames Media Company Limited, led by a broadcaster of almost 40 years, Hajia Amina Muhammad felt the need to brainstorm and hold a conversation on how best to fully switch over from the analog to digital signals. Given the welcome address, Dr. Ahmed Tunde Pupuola, the chairman of Ames Media Board, appreciated the convergence of the major players to enlighten the public on the much awaited digitization. We felt the need to enlighten the public on the importance of digital switch over. In his keynote address, Professor Armstrong Idachaba, the Director General of National Broadcasting Commission, presented the milestone that has been reached with a digital switch over on the implementation in six states of the Federation. He further emphasized on how the paucity of funds has militated the full implementation in the entire country. Uh, why did the world uh, decide to, to, to transit? Uh, the, the purpose of transition is because uh, science as, as our technology has proven that there can be more spectrum maximization, you know, with digital uh, technology, much more than you can benefit uh, in, analog, uh, in analog technology. The relevance of the production of local broadcast content cannot be overemphasized to avoid reliance on foreign content. Ms. Jibe Ologe, the president of MCOAN, explored the benefits of this to avoid imperialistic influence on viewers, particularly among children. The DSO will lead to the emergence of multiple channels and subsequently greater demand for content. Mr. Ahmed Lawal, the Zonal Director of NTA Lagos Network Center, used the platform to explore the various ways broadcast stations can partner with content owners for mutually beneficial venture using NTA2 Lagos as a case study. We are the first to start doing live streaming 247 on our website. Not only that, on that same website, we can host other streaming um, um, channels up to 11. The representative of Bank of Industry was also on hand to give the various criteria for funding creative and broadcast content. Anybody that wants to have access to our finance needs to uh, apply formally, make a formal application later. To the With Emeka Osai explaining the economic viability of such creative content for advertisers to have the right platform to sell their brands. While it takes between six to seven megahertz to transmit a program on the analog uh, for digital, it, it could take up to 20 programs within the same bandwidth. And what they always say is that um, uh, the bandwidth for uh, transmission of broadcast content is actually finished. Through in light of the delay in payment of the commercial input of media content, Ms. Bumi Makide of Scout Media explained some of the challenges that may arise in the contract while counseling for a proper agreement between the parties before the commencement of the media campaign. I'll call this um, the buy the payment process a symbol relationship because when you do a campaign, there's always three people involved. You have the client, the agency happens to be the gatekeeper. We are the gatekeeper between the clients and the broadcast. The issue with compliance and monitoring agency regarding the delay was also x-rayed. The regulation of the commercial content was explained by the APCON representative who proceeded that all commercial content must adhere to the rules and regulations of the code to have sanity in their airwaves. Consumers, that is consumers of broadcast content, become a critical stakeholder here. And all the efforts that are made must be geared towards producing content that appeal to consumers. Sharing his varied experience in some African countries where he has successfully consulted and supervised the digitization process, Russell Southwood of Balancing Arts, based in the United Kingdom, emphasized the need for the set-up boxes to be subsidized for the downtrodden to be able to enjoy the digital signals if we must fully switch over from analog to digital broadcast signals for an improved and more interactive signals. Over the period since the pandemic uh, lockdown in March, I've been talking to a series of senior African broadcasters from a wide range of countries. Um, I think we need to set the context, which is the loss of ad revenues. So those that who were willing to disclose lost between 10 to 60 percent of their advertising at the worst point over a one to two month period. Some of that's come back now, but that's 
uh, quite a lot. Emphasizing on the benefits of DSO, he concluded that there will be a reduction of broadcast transmitters and more broadcast content, thereby creating more jobs for innovative content. The interactive webinar had more participants both in Nigeria and in diaspora, lending a voice to the subject as we gradually await the full implementation of the digital switch over in another two to three years to be at par with other African countries to truly claim the giant in us. We congratulate the board and management of Ames Media Company Limited for its successful webinar. Wow, it's been a fantastic session of mind-blowing lectures from our erudite personalities. I know you've learned a lot from this, and I assure you this is just a tip of the iceberg of what Ames Media has in package. Thank you for watching. I am Bioki Sishola. Bye for now.